Welcome to Eternal Mena, the daily devotional broadcast of Grace Gospel Church. We are looking at Philippians 2.15. We are living in a depraved, perverse, twisted, corrupted world. And God has placed us in the world so that we can shine as stars. And we are looking at eight ways as to how we can respond to the world around us. Three are negative, and the balance five are all positive. The five positives are we need to illumine the darkness around us. We need to identify with people in their pain. We need to intercede for people. And yesterday we said, uh, I gave actually three I words yesterday, if you were sharp to pick it up. We need to get involved. We need to initiate relationships. We need to interact with people. Today, I want to look at the fifth positive way that we can uh, relate to the world of people around us. And here is your eighth I word. Inspire people. Inspire people. <laughs> If I were to use another I word, uh, pardon me for the use of the I words because uh, I, I love uh, alliteration and it helps me understand concepts and truths and also make it practical. Uh, people are living insipid lives. <laughs> people around us are living insipid lives. Now, they may be very successful. Uh, they may... Uh, have uh, a lot of material goods, but deep down in their heart, they are living insipid lives. Anyone who does not have a personal relationship with God through the Lord Jesus Christ, they can be a success story in the eyes of the world. But in their own eyes, they know that something is missing, that life is empty that life does not have meaning or purpose. And uh, they are just drifting through life, aimless. And you and I are called to inspire them. So how do we inspire people for God? We inspire them by informing them, by introducing to them the all-glorious person of the Lord Jesus Christ. We need to inspire them with the Bible stories, with the biblical narrative. With Christmas round the corner, what a glorious time for us to uh, be able to inspire people with a Christmas story. How God broke into human history. How God left heaven and came to earth and lived among us. And uh, how he performed mighty miracles and gave teachings by which we can be reconciled to God and reconciled to fellow man. And uh, we inspire them with these uh, great stories and great truths. And uh, we introduce to them the Lord Jesus Christ. We can inspire people with Old Testament stories. I mean, what a story David and Goliath is. We never tire of reading that story, a real life story. A 15-year-old boy bringing down a giant, a champion in the opposite enemy camp. And even today in the uh, non-Christian world, I have seen it in sports, where when the underdog wins, the headlines will scream the words, David has killed his Goliath. Even the non-Christian world understands and appreciates that story. And you can, and I can inspire people by uh, telling them, uh, accounts of the Bible. 
at a funeral recently, I met a dear sister. Uh, she was uh, originally from the Hindu faith. And uh, when I uh, was introduced to her and got to know her a little bit, she even came to church. I encouraged her to read through the book of Psalms. And uh, normally I ask uh, them to read uh, the Gospels, one of the Gospels. But uh, I asked her to read through the Psalms. And she said it was the book of Psalms that opened her eyes to her need for the Savior. How amazing is that? And she thanked me profusely. And she said she's going to a church. And she has told the pastor uh, about me as to how I got her to read the book of Psalms. And uh, so just inspire people. Uh, I have a dear brother who, uh, <laughs> who in his uh, younger years, uh, in his teen years, was bored. <laughs> and, he, and he went to church. And uh, there was a pastor who looked at him and saw that he was bored and asked him to read all four chapters of 2 Timothy in his hearing. And so he read all four chapters of 2 Timothy in the hearing of the pastor. And today, this dear brother is a child of God, living for God. And he narrated that story to me. And what an impact it made on his life. So, beloved, you never know. How, when you take a story from the Bible and you inform people and inspire them, the Holy Spirit can use it to make a huge difference in their life and bring them into the kingdom. God bless you and me as we seek to put these five positives into action in terms of relating to the world around us. Amen. For more videos like this, please subscribe to our YouTube channel, Grace Gospel English Church Toronto. Thank you.